Cue the intro I made three years ago that a child could have made better. Could a child have made that better? Yeah, it's pretty good. Fuck them. So I really wanted to talk about this video that's been uh, on YouTube for like three weeks. That a man was trapped in a boat underneath the water for three days. But when it happened, this man was in the worst, best possible place he could be on that boat. Obviously the worst, because where you want to be is on the outside of the boat so you could jump off when it's sinking. But he was in the best place at the same time. He was in the bathroom when that happened, and well, a good thing he was there, because he was probably shitting his pants. They said the boat went down really quick, but I don't care how fast that thing would have went down. I would have been sitting on the coast, watching it go down, because I would have been pushing old people out of the way, I would have been pushing kids out of the way, just to jump off that boat. I would have ran through walls just to get out of that boat. I swear, if that was me under there, I would have been searching around looking for a knife to kill myself. Where is that sharp, pointy fucking thing to stab myself? Ow, oh, fuck, it cut me. Okay, I found one. We're gonna leave it over there. Now oh, that hurt. Oh, I can't. I couldn't take the pain to kill myself. Okay. Because I, you wouldn't think you'd be found. No, he was under there for three days without food or water. And food, I don't think that's that big of a deal because I think you can go pretty long without food. But water, you want to blow your... When you're around water... And you're really thirsty, I think you want to blow your brains out from insanity because you can't drink it. Eventually, scuba divers came and rescued him. And they said it took 30 minutes to rescue him. To get from the, the air pocket up to the surface, they put, they had a, ma a mask on. And it, I would have either been very excited, free scuba diving, or halfway swimming in the boat. With a mask on, I would have panicked and like took it off and just fucking died. That's just a really crazy story how someone, for one, could survive like that. And how you, how you get rescued like that. And it's just a, it's a touching story. I wonder if he's still going to cook on ships anymore. Would you do that? I, I really think I would just find another job on shore, on land. Never go on a boat again. I, wouldn't, I really don't even think I'd go near water again. I take like steam baths. If I would have saw them, I would have went like zombie survival mode and just killed them all and took <laughs> taken everything they had. I think it's, it's what Rick would have done.